Good morning guys on day 7 I don't even know what day it is I think it's 77 Let's go with 77 Leaving town at 8 a.m. Today is gonna be a half a day since I'm splitting the stage in two because I really want to spend some time at the thermal bath. The skies are clearing up. It was raining all night. There's still a 50% chance of rain for the day. So I have my poncho at an arm's length and uh, just had breakfast, not at a cafe, but at the albergue from some of the leftovers that we bought yesterday at the supermarket. Everybody left ahead of me. So, you know, short day. Today was supposed to be a very, very challenging day. 32 kilometers uphill on the Via Francigena site. I think it is the only day that is described as extremely challenging. So I think it was a good idea to go with this plan. Let's get started. Looks like I have escaped the rain, at least for the time being. I'm enjoying the beautiful views. I mean, check out that castle in the distance. I have taken pictures of it from every angle because it is just mesmerizing. And uh, I'm getting close to the thermal bath right now. Uh, can't wait to get there and go for a dip. Check this out. Finally made it to the thermal bath. Just had a coffee here at the shop and a croissant. And uh, what a shame, I cannot get in this water because you know there's a hotel and they have their own private thing. There's a system of canals that get this water out of here and people do take baths there. But there's also more places along the way especially getting closer to Vitero. And then it started to rain. Oh, Tuscany, Tuscany. Guys, check this out. I think I hit the mother load. Look at this. And I have it all to myself. Oh my God, I'm going for a dip for sure. Let me take off my clothes. <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> oh my god, this is so nice, so warm. Paradise. I'm telling you, if you stop by, come by here and then drop me a line on the comments below.
I just climb the most incline of roads, uh, 20%, just to get to uh, Castiglione di Ocea to get some food at the supermarket because uh, B and B where I'm staying this afternoon, there's nothing uh, in Gallina, Galina. There's nothing around it, so uh, in search of the supermarket. Well, made it to this amazing Airbnb with enough room for four, two bedrooms, a kitchen, uh, two bathrooms, two floors, and we're in the middle of this field, you know, these agricultural fields on top of this hill. We have a 360 degree view of the entire uh, valley. I can see where I'm heading tomorrow. I can, can see where I came from today. It is just breathtaking up here. Nothing to do, there's nothing around. So glad that I stopped at the supermarket and got myself some uh, supplies so I can uh, have a dinner tonight. I'm gonna try and catch up with uh, the pictures and the videos and enjoy this place, man. Beautiful day. What the hell? Oh my God. <whistles> this dog just scared the hell out of me. <laughs> uh, beautiful day and uh, so glad that I split the stage in two. I mean, most of the pilgrims that I talked to uh, were trying to do so, were trying to do the same thing. So I think we're just scattered throughout the valley and the ones that were not lucky enough to find a place to stay, probably had to go the whole way, the 32 kilometers. I, today I only did uh, 16, about 16. It took me quite a while to get here, but I was enjoying the view. I was enjoying the thermal bath even though it was cold water, <laughs> but don't tell anybody. Uh, I'm sure there's another one up ahead. And uh, that's it for today, guys. Great day. Tomorrow is another 16 kilometer day, but it's gonna be uphill all the way. Since I split the station two, there will be no more uh, rest days. The one in Siena was the last one. It was a good one. And it's now 11 days to Rome. See you guys tomorrow.